What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Wolf in the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Come join us online over there. Sign up. Join us in the forums. And today is July the 24th, and we're going to be talking space news. Real fast, I want to bring you a couple big stories hit yesterday. Um, yesterday, I listened to this. The uh, NASA had a conference at about noon. Um, talked about the Kepler's program, this, this, the, the Kepler satellite and the the uh, discoveries that it's made and they found the cousin to earth here's the uh, basically this is a artist concept of what that planet will look like they're calling it kepler 452b and there's the artist concept and here's a little bit about it right here um it's got five times the mass of earth the diameter is about 1.6 times earth it's it's so it's a little bit bigger than ours and it's in that what they call a habitable zone. Um, this, this space telescope instruments search a wedge-shaped area of the Milky Way about 3,260 light years long and oriented along the spiral arm in which our solar system is located. Another space probe called GIA is tasked with precisely measuring the position, distance, and motion of the 1 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Also measured will be the orbits and the masses of the 1,000 extrasolar planets. Um, GIA's first report is expected in 2016, so this is a very interesting stuff, and uh, I was able to find this. NASA finds closest Earth twin yet haul 500 alien planets. They've basically found an awful lot of, uh, of, of, of planets that are in this habitable zone. I think that we're even going to find out as, as you know, as we progress as a species and we learn more and more that the habitable zone is going to be a lot bigger than we think around because I think life is going to be the constant that's out there in the universe. Um, it doesn't need to be the exact um, setup we have here in our solar system. Um, I think we're going to find out it's going to be a lot more, but this is pretty, pretty amazing stuff we've got going on out there. It's interesting how this satellite actually works. Um, there's a lot of data out there. It's been working for a while and we're going to, continue finding things from these uh these data like these data sets are out there and the scientist has, has not even touched them so just from what the uh it's collected so far for years and years and years to come students um people who study these are going to be finding these planets and i think we're going to find out and, and we are finding out that uh life is most likely out there and most likely going to be similar to us so Let's keep on moving right along. There's a couple other things we want to get to. This is pretty neat. The gorgeous NASA photo captured Earth from 1 million miles away. Now, we haven't taken an actual image since the Apollo um, of the whole Earth. Everything you've seen since then, the Apollo missions, have been all you know put together, basically. And uh, NASA released today, July 20th, the first image of a sunlit Earth, taken from the Deep Space Climate Observatory, uh, Discover spacecraft from its final science orbit. And this beautiful photo has already made a quite an impact. Just got the new blue marble photo from NASA, a beautiful reminder that we need to protect the only planet we have, President Barack Obama said today via his official Twitter account at POTUS. So even Barack Obama is uh, is is out there doing uh, tweets about this. It's a beautiful photograph. Let me show it to you right here. They said now, they said, this is the first one since Apollo. So everything you've seen um, is basically been that Apollo image that was taken and then, uh, or new ones have been composites, you know, put stitched together from various, uh, various things, satellites, uh, ISS, depending on who did it and where you saw the image from. But that's a true photograph, they say. It was taken uh, from, what was it? I think it said from a million miles away. Uh, I should have had this right on it. About 1.5 million miles away. That's where it was taken from. And there she is. Uh, the little the little blue marble that we live on. Just sitting out there in the middle of the, uh, in the, middle of the solar system. Pretty awesome. On the Pluto, New Horizons, not failing us. New Horizons sending back some amazing data. And we're just going to take a quick look at these mountain ranges that they're, and uh, we're going to get delve in deep this a little bit more as the weeks go by. I have, uh, my mother's got a surgery coming up, so tomorrow I won't be around for maybe the weekend. I'm going to try to, uh, try and do some videos. I've got a lot of Mars things I need to get out, but, uh, Pluto definitely, uh, 
has some pretty cool uh, features on it, as we're finding out. New Horizons, I'm glad the glitch did not solve any problem. Basically, what happened when the glitch was going on, um, it, the processor was trying to do too much at once. So these are some more of the fail-safe images that are coming back, and it's going to take a really long time to send back all of the data and all of the images that came from the flyby of Pluto. But this is just cool i must say the 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 level of uh work that went into getting this uh spacecraft to actually take these images it's amazing so i know we talk a lot about nasa here sometimes we bash them but if this isn't a real image it's absolutely truly amazing and we will be taking a look at in detail in a future video the uh, mountain ranges on pluto so another good news dawn Maneuvering to its third science orbit. We got a little worried there. Last time uh, Dawn was sitting there, they were at the 2,700-mile uh, altitude. They went to flip on the engines. All of a sudden, safe mode happened. It stopped the thrusters, and uh, we got they got worried there. So we are now in it. So let me read this to you real fast. NASA's Dawn spacecraft is using its ion propulsion system to descend to its third mapping orbit at Cirrus. Um, all the systems are operating well. The spiral maneuver over the next five weeks will take the spacecraft of an altitude of 900 miles above the dwarf planet. All right, so we're getting close. So we're going from 2,700 to 900. The spacecraft experienced a discrepancy in its expected orientation on June 30th, triggering a safe mode. Engineers traced the anomaly to mechanical gimbal gimbal system that swivels on the ion engine number three to help control the spacecraft orientation during ion thrusting. Dawn has three ion engines and uses only one at a time. Dawn's engineering team switched to ion engine two, which is mounted in a different gimbal, and conducted tests with them for June, so from July 14th to the 16th. They have confirmed that spacecraft is ready to continue with the exploration of Cirrus. By the end of the day, on July 17th, Dawn will have descended to an altitude of about 2,400 miles. An arrival in net map, the next mapping orbit is called the High Altitude Mapping Orbit in August. So this is going to take about five, okay, it's going to give us an amazing, unprecedented resolution. Um, and once again, this is from Elizabeth Landau. She's one of the, 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 the main players over there at Dawn. Um, pretty cool. Of course, this is an artist concept as well. This is not <laughs> it, it actually flying over, but it's uh, this spacecraft is neat. From what we got, we're really excited to see those uh, the bright spots up close, especially from 900 miles. We've seen them from 2,700. We've seen them from further out. And uh, when we get down to 900, hopefully we'll finally get an idea of what these things are. And there'll be one more after that. I'm not sure exactly how much closer we're going with the next. There's one fourth and final orbit. Uh, we'll be doing mapping and, and imaging and all that stuff. So we'll, we'll be keeping an eye out for that. And we'll be waiting for, uh, I guess it's going to be at the end of August now before we start getting some more data back. So, all right, guys. And like I said, what's up in the sky 37, www.whatsupinthesky.com. Like I said, my mom's having some surgery tomorrow. Um, since my father died earlier last year, if you guys watch my channel, um, I haven't had, uh, I've been the caregiver for my mother as well. So I'll be in and out. Um, Keep sending your stuff. Keep going to the website. You guys are on my Facebook pages and stuff who add their, their pictures and swap stuff. Thank you guys so much. And for all the well wishes for my mother, you guys rock so much. Um, I don't know why I, uh, I, I wouldn't do this without subscribers. So much love to you guys. Space news. We are out. What's up in the sky .com. Hope you're having a good one. Have yourself a good weekend. It, it will be Friday by the time this uploads. Peace.